it's time to explore. I know things were kind of rough last video, what with all the you know explosive coughing and uh, wandering around doing nothing, the Relin village not being super interesting, etc. But uh, it's all good now because I'm here in oh, it's a nice clue. I'm here in the Ridgelands. There's the guy who wants me to fly long distances, and it's. It seems like something I should go to. Uh, does the light dissipate as the sun rises? I'll find out. So, let's have a look at the map here. <coughs> this is the westernmost tower I've seen. There are other towers like it, but this one is mine. Um, there's a number of reasons for me to now go northwest or southwest. The big reason is Divine Beasts. That's where they are, in those directions. I think I'll be heading southwest first to look for the Gerudo and whatever Divine Beast they might know about. If they know about anything. Perhaps they just don't know things, I don't know. Um, there's also something around... Ah, yeah, Safula Hill. I've got a side quest to do with Safula Hill. There's supposed to be a kind of a white stallion there, someone told me, in a tavern. Alter. So that's one direction I could go. There's a... That way is Safula Hill. Here is a cool green glow. It's kind of a mushroom zone, if I was interested in that, which I guess I am. Yeah, I probably want to check out the mushroom zone. Alternatively, I could head north towards the lands of the Rito. Northwest, rather. It's, uh, it looks cold way over there. Nah, yeah, I've had enough of the cold for now. Enough of the rain. I met a Gerudo once who told me it doesn't rain at all in the desert, and that sounds very attractive. Some kind of grey platform thing. Alright, let's head in this direction. There's a tower over there, so that's an obvious landmark. There's a canyon land of some sort. I think that's where I got my enormous horse. There are these mushrooms to look at in the green glow. It wasn't a very competent jump. I am seriously expecting to find House Telvani people around here. But perhaps they are not the only mushroom havers. Is this a mushroom? It's unclear what it is. Fortunately, Link is really good at climbing. Just do that somehow, the underhang. Sweat pouring off him with every move, but uh, it's safe somehow. Hmm. <coughs> This is vast something I forget about. And somewhere to the southwest will be Varnaboris. These lands of mises and peaks and deserts. Hey, what's this? Donna, nice. Uh. Oh, hey. That's totally diveable. If I don't rotate the camera to look at the angle I'm on, it almost seems normal to be doing that. Okay. Yeah. Impressed by my cool dive, the Korok surfaces. So this mushroom country is um, somewhat inexplicable. But uh, seemingly harmless. Well, there's chews, I guess. Big chews. Which is not that big a deal. There's something odd over there. It looks worth moving towards. Kind of, there's a kind of a wall and a permanent thunderstorm. 
is, I think, within the Ridgelands area. The thing I'm riding towards. Although this is kind of... Uh, Rito-y, north -y. Not really the direction I want to be going in. Well, it's really close. Let's have a little... Thunder Plateau. You who have reached this land of thunder, I present you with a trial. Four spirits settled in their proper places. Hmm, okay. So there's a shrine quest here. How does one settle a spirit in its proper place? Yeah, what am I... Okay, so the Master Sword is... Uh, Made of metal. This is this boulder breaker apparently. I thought it was rock. Hmm. That red thing looks kind of spirity, doesn't it? Whoa. Uh, this won't be super climbable. I have a lot of stamina now. So... I bet you this is one of the things I need to take to its proper place, wherever that is. <coughs> Two questions. Where do I want to put it, and how do I get it there? This little enclosed region. Thunder Plateau, I assume, is my most obvious destination. I threw stuff up over it. Oh, no way. No, not like that, I can't. How high up can I throw it? Uh, doesn't have a lot of vertical travel. Hmm, there's another one of the glowing orbs. Globes. Not really glowing, it's just coloured. Perhaps before trying to carry this thing around, I should be looking for a way up. Aha! Uh -huh. this be a ramp of broken earth. A yes and no. around you. Just look around you. Have you figured out what we're looking for yet? Hmm. This is purple. This is purple. Does that mean this should go here? Maybe. Green orb, red orb. So I left the red orb on the ground just now. How can I elevate the orb? Oh, I know! Octo balloons. Will that work? Maybe. It's worth a try. That's how you elevate certain classes of thing. Alright. 
Well, I'll be... It's floating. Not really floating in the right direction yet, but if I kind of bump into it like that... Ah. Ah. Uh, well... Let's put it really close to the edge here. Keep it... Don't roll. Oh, in fact, that was almost... Come on. I just want something like a flat surface, ideally. Okay, maybe I'll try uh, hoisting it a long way straight up. The wind is blowing toward me. Right, so I need to be on the correct side of the wind. Can I put it down here? Oh. This, uh, this might work, also might not work. Here's the plan. I'm going to use multiple balloons. So it goes high quickly. It's not being blown in the correct direction, is it? that again. Switch bow. Yes! I have no idea whether that's how you're expected to do it. Who cares about expectations? This game has options. So the green one's right here. Oop. Go in, 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 in. Okay. The green has got to knock it down off its platform in the rain. The thing about Thunder Plateau is there's thunder here. I suspect it's permanent in the name. Means it's not obvious how to climb that. The answer is perhaps not as simple as climbing it. What I'll do is climb something shorter. Got him. 
And again, it doesn't quite want to go in. Missing now is the yellow one, and I know where that is. It's over here. How can I obtain it? Same balloon trick as last time. Isn't it? Although even reaching that one's going to be a pain. Use these as ledges. No legibility so far. Of course, that's not even a word. Perhaps this little lip will shelter me from the rain. No. Link does not look happy at me putting him through that bullshit. Okay. <coughs> I guess if I combine the techniques of knock it off with an arrow and uh, lift it up with a balloon, that should do it. Right. It's a pain, but it'll work. get fairly near to a break in the plateau that I'll actually be able to claim. There are two-ish of those. At least two. Okay. These things are cool. Ah! Knock it. No, stop going so high. Fuck. I'm actually gonna. I'm not sure where I am. Ah! Oh, that wasn't close enough to the edge, really. Let's do it here. I think that's been knocked enough. Just about. This was fun. I'm, I feel like I probably missed something about this whole experience and uh, perhaps should have done it in a different way, but who knows really. And the game's simulation-ism is one of its best elements, being able to combine powers and items and stuff in various unexpected ways. Unexpected, but sort of physical being a set of common rules. <coughs> All right.
right, Toyasha Shrine is mine. It was activated anyway. So that's what's at the end of the mushroom region. Unfortunately, the permanent thunderstorm doesn't actually seem to have ceased. Perhaps if I was to actually complete the shrine, who knows. For now, let's get out of here and uh, head southish. I want to be there ultimately. First, a Korok. Sometimes you don't need to do a puzzle to get them all. They just kind of fly around being a glue. Send out of this horrid storm canyon. Clearly visible. In fact, two shrines are clearly visible. And the stables. I appear to have stumbled into a good place to be. It's a bad for a bridge. Hmm, would this be one of the bridges across this western chasm, which I theorize leads to Rito country? I guess so. Let's talk to this person calling out for a great fury. Yes. Tower just beyond the Gravantha Bridge. Ground in the afternoon. Shadow points to the fountain. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for this money, which I'll... Uh, ultimately give to the fairy. Certainly one day I will give that great fairy a bunch of rupees. Washer's Bluff. I feel like I should note that down. It's probably a shrine there is what I'm thinking. Hello. The first beetle. How's it going? I think I need to sell some stuff. Just kind of commingle my own wealth with the borrowed money I have here. I hope I didn't want those elemental gems. Yeah. Hooray for the Stable Association. So, Tabantha Bridge. This isn't really the area I wanted to be in. I want to head more south of here, but... The idea of a third great fairy is pretty hard to pass up. Tiny babies. In fact, there's like several kids all around here. <laughs> yes, tell me about things. Ludfo's bog. That's where the plateau is, right? A lord with dominion over all living things. Oh. 
So Rito Village is indeed west, but a long way west. Why is that something that would make you laugh? Yeah, she didn't tell me about the north. I just noticed there was this um, dialogue option I didn't pick. with this shrine and pin the other one I saw before I go any further. Sign up on the cliffs there, it looks like a sun. What's up with that? It seems like a place I might want to visit sometime. Well, I have been wondering about these things and what to like do about them and how to get at them. So, this seems like an opportunity. Uh. Okay, I guess not even my um, long range bow is going to avail me of anything there. So the timing, 6 in the morning. If I'd been standing on the bridge, I would have been able to get it. Bunch of shrines. And a tower from which you can see Great Fairy by its shadow. Cool. And a red dragon. Canyon filled with windmills. That's all very cool. And I kind of want to investigate it further. Maybe I should be heading Rito Woods. I don't know, there's cool stuff this way as well. In what I assume to be the Gerudo lands. I remain torn. I'll keep exploring. <coughs> Where am I on the map? Right. I'm still on the ridgelands, which are kind of in between me. Hmm. Early in the morning, that red dragon flies under the bridge. That was a Lionel. Do I want to fight a Lionel today? Yes, I suppose so. Let's see what kind of magic arrows this one shoots. A real weapon, yeah. Ah, yes. Oh! He's got uh, a large boulder weapon thing there. Right, it's gonna take buffs.
death to evil horses. This thing's basically a horse, but evil. timing when I got a sequence of hits in on him the first time. Well, I think there's that dragon thing off in the sky. It's slightly distracting. Lump of metal. Well, it doesn't seem amazing. That is a good bow. Wow. I think that may be the most powerful weapon I've ever seen. If you hit with all three shots, more damaging than anything. But of course, it consumes three of your potentially special arrows. Trade offs. But uh, for sheer damage output, that's incredible. <coughs> hmm. The tempting but potentially forbidden region. The way I kind of want to go, but I can't see a tower. That split rock up there, that's where the glow was, and that's also, um, the people at the stables talked about rumours of a, a god, or a lord with dominion over the region. I think I visited a glowing mountain at one point, possibly that same one, and didn't I find some kind of massive blue pea there? I forget. A lot of high grassy plains in this region. Green grass and mises forever. There's a little hut on top of this mushroom. Who might live up there? A Rito, perhaps? doesn't actually look like an easy climb. Oh, it's Cass! Holy oh, shit! Is this where he lives? The minstrel. Oh, I've got to get up there now. Also, I bet he can tell me more about this platform. I don't suppose I'm... Wash's bluff. <laughs> this is the place where one guy at the inn told me about a weird platform on the ground. So that's not an orb hole platform, but it is a shrine appearance platform of some kind. The only one I've seen looking exactly like that before, well I've seen two actually, one on which you had to land from a long jump, and one on which you had to kneel while someone else knelt on another one. The conditions to open the shrine could be anything. Well, anything that involves a platform. Time for an extremely implausible climb.
Yep, this is physically possible. Jetto Bridge in the West Hyrule Plains. The Bay of Plain, northeast of Kakariko Village. Gerudo Tower. Kalara Lake. I've been to that one. Yes, this is what I was expecting. That um, <coughs> these are probably all about shrine quests. Washer's Bluff. Red Moon. Do I need a Blood Moon Knight? That would be difficult to arrange. Well, let's talk to Cass and see if he knows more. No, it sounded good actually. Okay, so it's fairly clear what to do, but um, I've got to stand on the pedestal, naked, during a blood moon. Actually doing it will be something of a challenge. Hmm. I don't know when the next one might be, or how to judge them. There's a little calendar thing in the bottom right of the screen. I think it shows weather, like... Sunny day, sunny day, rainy day, maybe? What is that? Could that be Mount Lanero in the far distance? No. It's not. It's uh, some mountain this way. Could be Mount Hylia of the Great Plateau. Technically, I'm heading south, but Saffula Hill beckons at this point, I think. I'll just take a brief shortcut. <coughs> I think this shrine is on the slopes of the mountain where at night time I saw a great green glow. I also want to see whether this shrine is a good spot from which to rapidly reach um, that place I was at before in the event of Blood Moon. Yes, looks like it. Oh, if our whatever is tilting, that's cool. So, this is the shrine. If I rapidly get to there, next time it's night and I see the moon rising red in the sky. Meanwhile, 
the tower over there to get to. Is that my logical next tower? Perhaps. It's actually quite far away. But what isn't? Well, can I get closer to it? Doesn't look like it. It's kind of off in nowhere country. Oh, it's a tree. Makes sense. Off into the wilderness. There's no roads around here, no towns. There's a big rock though. rock a small rock and a small rock a cool rock yeah ha yeah. <laughs> it makes me wonder if the gerudo live in the southwest <coughs> are there really no roads into that region I don't see any. Unless this is some kind of routine, road like entity. Hmm. Perhaps that's where I should be focusing my travels. Then again, the, the game is called Breath of the Wild, not Breath of the Well Traveled Path. Soaring above a desolate and empty forest never hurt anyone. When I've looked at this Mesa region from a distance before, I've been struck by how apparently barren it was when far away. We'll see if it truly is that barren as I get closer. It's got flora. I'm being slightly paranoid of the sky here. I want to keep an eye on the rising of the moon because I don't want to miss the next blood moon. Whatever I'm in the middle of, I may have to just drop it at that point. Being the moons, this is a barren, almost space-like atmosphere. There's tiny little bits of scrub vegetation and like an occasional insect. It's uh, not exactly lush. Still, all this nearly bare rock does present me with an obvious possibility. I could climb to the top of it. That'd show him. Sure. 
train. Could this be the fabled Gerudo Tower? It's construction of some sort alongside it. It's a way off. Hmm. Some kind of stair and ramp system there. <coughs> this Mesa is ridged enough that I should be able to climb it, particularly if I switch to actual climbing gear. yet to become apparent. I still haven't spotted the fourth divine beast either. Or what I'm currently thinking of as potentially the third divine beast. Who knows how I'll go about this. Certainly not me. My actions are a mystery to myself. It's cold, is it? Any cold resistance elixirs? I'll have to make some if not. Oh, I do. Well, good. It's not enough by itself with a warm doublet, it would be. But I'm climbing. I don't want Link to freeze to death. Look at that landscape. Oh yeah, this is pretty high up. Definitely arguably cold. You fall over. Hit with an extremely large box thing. <laughs> the snow means this might not be, be the best vantage point for looking at things from a long way away. But the altitude should compensate. This much altitude forgives a multitude of sins. ridge above me is uh, horizontal enough for me to stand on if I can reach it, which I should be able to do. Just don't jump, basically. I know it's, it's getting colder and colder. The temperature has dropped down into sort of minimums. Could be physically colder than it is. But only just barely. I rule through the snow. Is there a really a desert around here somewhere? 
I guess deserts are dry. It doesn't mean they're not high. Yep. Down there somewhere. I've actually lost sight of the tower which I expected to glide towards from up here. Ah, ice elementals. Perhaps not too surprising. I'm going to want some fire arrows, I think. Yep. I did want that. Oh. Well, alright then. That music is because the wolf somewhere still wants me dead. It doesn't seem to have the courage to actually attack, though. Huh. It doesn't shrink very fast, does it? It's unclear whether there's any benefit to doing this. But hey, I can see the tower again. Thanks, Daruk. I'm hoping for a Korok or something in here. <coughs> Come on. Well, nothing. Oh, well. So I could definitely head south at this point. Get a head start on that tower. I can't really see anything else due to the snow, so it's not a great surveying position. But there remains yet some mountain to climb. And when mountain there is to climb, I shall climb it. It's actually not that cold here, according to the meter. Cold, yes, but like one level of cold instead of two. Ah, it's the green one. How to get out here? Damn those things.
Why is why are you up here? You're be freezing. I think I'm basically on top of this mountain range. Perhaps not literally. Perhaps only basically. Hmm. It's more northwest. More and higher, I see. But that will be a major deviation from my actual goal. So, any further exploration of these um, nameless mountains is on hold. My cold resistance is about to run out. That's a factor here. What is this? Is that it? It's a treasure chest. Nice. Alright, tower. Let's see how close I can get. Uh -huh. Okay, not bad. I've aligned myself with some sort of road up these mesas. Certainly skipped large chunks of what could have been an arduous trick. And this actually looks like some kind of settlement? Ah, no. Moblins. Looks like people used to live here, perhaps, but not right now. To the bright tower, then. It is quite glary here. I don't need a warm doublet anymore. Though the glare may pose as much of a problem for surveying as the snow did. The game has various ways to not reveal too much of itself to you at once, no matter where you are, no matter how high. Yeah. careful, I guess. And no low-level platforms either. But the solutions to both of these things go together. <coughs> oh, hello. A bunch of blocks out there already.
Hmm. Is this helping? Maybe not. Just gotta get a bunch of blocks out into the middle, all close to each other. Uh, so that when I am out there myself, navigating the tar, I will be able to arrange them to provide me platforms if I need them. Save the game because tar sucks. Hmm. I might have all I need already. Phew, it was just enough. Rudo Tower. That's the Great Plateau over there. Doesn't look as some as great as great as some of the other plateaus I've since seen. And I'm cold again. So this is a wasteland, is it? It looks like one. Basically a complete garbage country. Interesting stone walls down there though. Oh yeah, that looks like a desert. There it is. <coughs> Varnaboris. The divine camel, maybe? Oh yeah, that's totally a dromedary. Two humps. Nice. Interesting other landmarks out there too. Some kind of significant looking settlement and or ruin. Possibly Gerudos live there. I'm not sure. An oasis. Oh yeah, that's definitely the Gerudo land. Assuming they like deserts as much as they claimed. They could have been all acting all tough, but actually, like, coming from a fertile, temperate region. Scanning. West of Lake Hylia is the wasteland. Oh. 
Let's have a look at the map. Gerudo. There we go. Champion's Gate. And some kind of structure. That'll be interesting. East Barrens, Palu Wastelands, Southern Oasis, Dragon's Exile. Probably something to do with dragons. West Gerudo Ruins. An unnamed Oasis. Unnamed City. Interesting looking ruin thing over here. Ah, I thought it might be one of these. Whoa, some blast of wind. I saw something interesting down there, but first, I must do this. Oh, that's not how they work. Sorry. I always forget that the original position of the magnet light thing isn't important. What's important is making the two of them match up. There we go. <coughs> yeah! So, when that great blast of wind hit me, I saw something interesting down here. statues looking inward and a throne. That I want to check out. Then I'll probably return to the tower for some more southward exploration. Is this monumental construction? East Gerudo Ruins. Do I see an orb down there? I do. It's an orb of a particular colour, I think. Another one of these, then? But what are the colours? Let's get all the orbs I can and put them in the central region.
I think one of them was already in the slot. Hmm, electric Safina. Safina. That'll come in handy. So there's different shapes and colours on these things. Yellow V. Purple Crescent. Brown Hourglass or Figure 8. Red here. Green bar. Is that the bar? It looks like it. This won't necessarily be too difficult. <laughs> Except, hang on. So for most of them, the designs have worn off and are only visible in certain places. I see. There's the eight. be a pain. What's that? A tear shape, okay. I haven't found yet. Yeah, this shape is kind of book. Nah, it's not familiar to me. Book or two bars or... Oh, it's already filled in though. This one's not filled in. What shape should it be? Ooh, hello. I think it's the one I called the Crescent earlier. What are these landon things? Mistake the shape there. I hope not. Ugh. 
Oh, right, no, it was up there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's the bar, which I've already done. Process of elimination for the last one, then. I have a V-shaped orb. I have a slot here. Let's just try it. Maybe. Ah, also an empty slot. This one's uncertain, and I probably need one more orb. V. The last slot is actually the process of elimination slot. What I don't have is a process of elimination orb. Most of the others were pretty visible, although when I reached here first it was daytime. <coughs> and there's no reason there couldn't be one behind the regions. Watermelons? Hydromelon. Nice. That reminds me of some of the plants from um, Subnautica. Is this? It's not an orb, but what is it? Nothing, apparently. Eh. With a remainest orb. Perhaps from higher up I'll be able to see the last one. Sometimes it's hard to climb that, it's okay. You can't tell me that you haven't found yourself halfway up a giant pharaonic statue and then realized, wait, I don't know exactly how to push myself into the ladder at the right angle. That's pretty much a universal human experience. Oh, oh ho, is that an orb over there? Looks like it. Very sneaky. Alright, so I gotta get over there. And there's also a tower that way. Northwest. I suspect that is the Gerudo Tower. Which I have heard. Let's pin it. Thankfully, these stones are made of rock. Oh. 
Oh, but the last one has a broken sword, making it harder to climb. Damn it. Making it even harder to climb is the fact that I forgot to jump. I was hoping for something like this. I was hoping for this exact thing, actually. I both predicted and anticipated it. Alright, there's a bunch of cool exploration done. Let's head back up to the top of the Wasteland Tower. Take another look around. That pink map pin I've got on there <coughs> is the Gerudo Tower, which might be my next one. But there are a lot of interesting things reachable from the Wasteland Tower. This might be my home base for a short little while. Sunrise. I noticed that uh, southish, southeast, is this ramp leading to a kind of plateau. I want to check that out because this isn't the way I came up to get here. It's just a kind of arbitrary meter. I have suspicions about it. Then. Something. Yep, it's large and hot. Hmm. Down there is the mysterious ruin I saw, the large complex one. Look quite similar to the labyrinth. And similarly to the labyrinth, there are guardians nearby. Is that get geared up?
have the whole set now. The set bonus is you do extra damage with guardian weapons. Uh, it's not... the helm isn't any better than the diamond helm that I've already got, and which looks much cooler. But if you've also got guardian weapons, it's a nice bonus. I don't really like the look of this, though. So, the diamond crown is still my fave. Well, that's not functioning. Are you alive? Ah, I thought so. <laughs> so much damage you did. There's my cool axe there. Hey, hang on, did I just see the master sword? Oh! It's glowing! Empowered! So just fighting guardians is that one of the things which gives it its true power. That's cool. I guess that's because guardians are, pos are possessed by um the calamity. Ah, but it stops glowing. Okay. So it's not a charge-up thing. It's a matter of when they're nearby. That looks cool. But that also looks cool. Generally, I will choose to give the benefit of the doubt to things that are higher up. issue or I guess I am on a miser on the far corner of the world <laughs> prime meat is good but what I need really is some gourmet meat and the even better kind oh hello so you can tell by the sword lighting up this one's live that's cool. <laughs> it's certainly doing a shitload of damage. How much? Sixty instead of thirty. Blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Well, that's good. I certainly believe in the desert now. The amount of sunlight they have put in this region is uh, intense compared to much of the game. Most of Hyrule is, well, a rainy place. Gerudo is not. Be wearing more appropriate clothing, but I haven't got a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, 
And despite the glare, it's actually cold here. Height will do that to you, I guess. Wow. Snow blind. This rocky pillar thing I'm heading for looks like um, basically a natural phenomenon. Doesn't seem quite regular enough to be shaped. Oh, it's even colder. I don't want to waste one of these high level cold resistance effects. Maybe I'll just deal with it. So there's the desert with the divine beast wandering around in it. And somewhere around here must be the ocean, yes. So there's the sea. Beyond the desert, that's kind of cool. I guess it's on a little plateau. Even here. <laughs> They're just everywhere. <coughs> so, so I won't spend too much time up here because it's cold. But something of note um, is there's a really good view of the Great Plateau. Many of the regions which were very among my earliest ones that I was able to visit. So over there is the Great Plateau. There's Lake Hylia. The bridge through it. There are the dueling peaks and Nekluda in that whole region. Farron is that red and lower land there. In fact, everything up to kind of the Irish is Farron. Oh, that's a shrine. Nice. No pins. Well, I guess I like to bet it right now then. Even though I wanted to investigate that hut thing. Okay, I'll do that first. Someone used to live all the way up here. And they left a diary. The shrine that sleeps on a snowy Gerudo peak. So there's no pedestal. When the pedestal glows, cast a cold shadow onto its core. Where is the pedestal? There it is. Judging by the movement of the light, that shadow will not quite be tall enough. <laughs> I'm 
I'm guessing that the cold shadow you see is um the shadow of a tower of ice. Makes sense, right? And it's just starting to glow, so yeah. The conjunct alignment of the sun with a particular position is all makes sense. Alright, I will avoid freezing to death. That also makes sense. The cold shadow. But it won't cover the core, I think. can I do? That probably wasn't the right thing to do. Phew. Well, I'm glad that the archaeologist or whoever um, managed to research all this for me. Pity they never got to see the fruits of their labours. Sama Shrine. <coughs> now for that other shrine, which I don't have the resources to pin right now. So where is this? This is east into Farron. Cool. That canyon, in fact, is the canyon where I captured Enormous. It looks like an interesting mesotop as well, doesn't it? Looks like it's higher up than the shrine one, so if I go to this one first, I'll then be able to descend to that one. I think. Maybe. Technical term for these things, a butt, like B U T T E, maybe? Oh! Hello! That's not what I expected. That's inconvenient. Well, I don't 
appropriate weapon for this guy. It's the Boulder Breaker. him. Okay, back to the shrine, before I forget. I think it has been quite a long play session. So, once I activate this travel gate, I'll stop for now. I had a lot of fun today, though. This kind of wandering around, looking at things and noticing other things and going over and doing something, uh, that gameplay loop is a really good one. The game supports it so well, its um, layout always has you going to look at something, and there's always something to find. Hey, what? I think I've met her in a car. Now I have some Lionel Guts. No. Maybe this is someone I haven't met. Is this a, a soup? Moza. Trying to perfect my ultimate dish, so I'm training in isolation. <coughs> mm. <laughs> A lavish meat dish, an ancient meat dish, an ultimate survival dish. Tell me about the ancient meat dish. <laughs> Bird meat or steak? Something from a broken guardian. Something that smacks of history. An ancient meat dish the likes of which no one has ever seen. Okay, tell me more. Oh! There probably is a secret to making these recipes in a way where they actually work. <laughs> That's enough for now, I think. <laughs> Just attacking the meat with her ladle. Good luck. You may need it. A lot of flies around here making buzzing. It's like some kind of rubbish tip. Wait, don't tell me these are all the remnants of Moses' dishes. Oh dear. I will do one more thing before I stop for the day. Return to the Wasteland Tower again. I'm going to save the game and then attempt something that's clearly unwise. This is unwise for the following reasons. That thing is probably too far away for me to glide to. It's in the middle of some kind of perpetual sandstorm. The wind is weird around here. There's a shrine I didn't pin. Although I'm hoping I'll see that when I load the game. And uh, also, it's a divine beast and I haven't like pacified it with the help of the Gerudo, so there's no point. Even so.
despite those facts, I attempt this. There are actually two sandstorm zones, which is interesting. Just land on this thing, I'm suddenly saving myself a lot of time. Implications of this are. I've discovered them, the implications. Okay, I'll load the game now. Thanks for watching.